Hello, hello guys, viewers out there, um, we are back on the screens to give you what you need to um, enlighten you about um, our economic and political activities and um, events that you need to know. But today is a different kind of game that we want to play here and I want everybody to listen and listen good. We are going to talk about inflation rate, inflation in itself, and the national debt. We've got a list of economic jargons that Mr. Charles will have to delve into and explain to your understanding. So that in any case, if you don't understand anything, you can chip your comments and questions below. And then we'll get back to you through an email or anything like that. Your questions will be appreciated and we will answer you. So we will delve into inflation and you know as for inflation is a tendency for goods and services to rise, you know, rapidly and then people won't have the sort of resources to counter the rising prices. So Mr. Charles is going to explain to us what an inflationary rate is and then we will delve into the national debt of Ghana and we will go through money supply, interest rate, we go through through exchange rate, we go through debt to GDP ratio, public sector borrowing requirements, and public sector net cash requirements, government budgets. We're gonna be talking a whole lot of economic jargons that will determine the performance of a government, of a party that will come into governance. So inflation rate is the key determinant of performance of a government. Mr. Charles, can you tell my viewers about inflation rate and then let us know how it affects or how it depicts the performance of governance? Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Eric Okudonko, for having me uh, today. Um, we are going to be talking about uh, inflation rate, as Mr. Okudonko has just mentioned. Uh, however, just a little bit of an intro. We do realize that obviously a lot of Ghanaians are sort of now very much well educated in maybe various dif different fields of study. Different disciplines. Um, yeah. Disciplines, yes. Uh, however, we, we think that sometimes we find it difficult to understand uh, maybe what a government may be doing in terms of managing the economy. And so the purpose of this uh, the purpose of this uh, uh, talk is to bring uh, to you all these uh, factors that affect the economy and to you know break it down to create a clearer understanding so that one can understand how a government is performing economically and how this sort of performance is being felt yeah. on the ground uh, by the people and so this, we believe, will help uh, people to make informed decisions when it comes to the time to select uh, a government into power. So uh, some of the uh, things that we've uh, uh, set aside to talk about, as Mr. Kwekudonko mentioned, is the inflation rate. We are also going to look, be looking at uh, what the GDP, gross domestic product, what it means. We are going to be looking at our money supply we're going to be looking at inflation, obviously inflation rate we've mentioned already. Uh, we're also going to be looking at interest rates, uh, that is the cost of borrowing. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be looking at the debt to GDP ratio, uh, also public sector borrowing requirements, and also the budget. Uh, even things to do with, uh, you know, treasury bills, how it works. So that is the purpose of this um, series. Yeah. Yes, it's an economic, uh, more uh, series based on economics and how it affects Ghana. So um, we're going to move uh, straight uh, so into rate. issues um, with inflation yeah. rates. Right. Now, uh, the anyway, before you start, I want to just, um, I will give my own definition of a layman's um, definition of what inflation, inflation what inflation is before the economists come in with the jargons to explain that to you 
in my own understanding, I know inflation is the um, spike of the prices of goods rapidly that it can't people can sort of see how they can match up with a sort of rise of prices of the, the rises of prices that are on the market because you go into the market today is a different price the following day is a different price so in my own understanding is a spike of prices on a rapid scale from day to day or from a period of time so that is my Great. Anyway, I will leave it to. Uh, am, am I right or wrong? Well, yes. it is good. So it is, it is a good. It is, a, it is a, a good way. Description to, to explain. I mean, in in all fairness, the inflation. In all fairness, the purpose of our mm. obviously of our talk, uh, this economic talk, is to break it down. So mm. we are going to try to make it as simple. simple. Yeah. Mm. Uh -huh. So with the inflation, it is the rate at which uh, goods and services mm. increases in price over a period of time. Mm. And normally that period of time is measured in a year, you know, a yearly, the annual, the annual. increment in the prices of goods and services. Mm -hmm. And so in another way, to define it also in another way, in a more simpler way, is inflation is a situation when you have too much money chasing fewer goods yes. in an economy. That is what causes inflation. Mm -hmm. Because you you know you you got too much money and you are not producing as much goods to match it, and so that becomes inflationary. Okay. And so another way to also look at it, if you're trying to uh, get a description of it, is that let's say this item at the beginning of a year, say January, if I'm able to buy this item for a hundred pounds, and then maybe at the end of the year in December of that year i try to go and buy the same item but then this time i can only get the same item mm -hmm. if i put down 120 pounds mm -hmm. that means that the item is gone up in price by 20 pounds or 20 cities more and so uh, then that is a uh, one 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 is it 120 yeah it's gone up one, by 120 percent uh, yeah uh, so that that shows uh, i think that will be yeah sort of that it's gone up by that percentage uh, that yeah. percentage increase uh -huh. so this is inflation for you now so one will say what causes inflation mm -hmm. what are the major causes what are the causes of inflation, of inflation? Yeah. now uh, one of the main uh, major causes of inflation is when you increase your money supply mm -hmm. but you don't back it with production so when the productivity is low and but then you've increased, the money on the market is higher, it's more. Uh -huh. So you've increased your money supply, but it's not backed by productivity. Okay. Now you can increase your money supply either by printing money. So a central bank mm -hmm. can print more money. money. Mm -hmm. But then it's not a, they're not using it for any productive purpose. Purposes, yeah. mm -hmm. Right? And so if that uh, uh, becomes the case that extra money that has been printed will become inflationary so people are going to have too much money and in their pockets chasing fewer uh, goods as you said right. yeah. mm -hmm. and, and, and in, in reality this type of scenario reduces the value mm -hmm. of that money yeah uh, you reduce the value of that, of that money mm -hmm. so you know that is what uh, we, we call inflation but but um, today, before we even carry on, I want us to work on this chart immediately before we carry on with whatever we are supposed to do today. Because this chart, this inflationary chart or inflation chart will indicate, they are indicators of the um, absolute total performance of a government. And it's running from 20, 2004 to 2020. From the 2022 to 2024 is projections. So Mr. Charles will take us through this chart, this graph, and then point us to the individual government performance over this period of years. 
So you will tend to notice and see that the inflation or the inflation rate of a government, the period of time that they come into government, government that depicts their performance, that shows their performance, that you know exhibits their performance for everyone, even if you are in the public sector, if you are a private person, if you are in the community, because it affects you. If you go to the market and you can't buy anything with the money that is in your pocket, then it means things are prices of goods and services are rising every now and again. So these are the indicators that will prove the sort of governance that these parties, you know, um, you know, gave us as Ghanaians. So, Mr. Charles, can you quickly go through this chart so that we know exactly the good governments and okay. the, the bad ones? Thank you, Mr. Let's Eric. see how it goes. Thank you, Mr. Eric Okudonko. Uh, obviously, before I go on to that, I will just elaborate just a little bit on the, obviously, with, with the issue with the inflation. Mm -hmm. Once again, for example, if should, the government should go borrowing money from external sources to do projects within the country, if they borrow that money and we don't actually do those projects or we over sort of inflate the cost of over those mates uh, yeah. the cost of those projects then what then happens is that we are not producing mm -hmm. as much as our borrowing mm -hmm. so we borrowed say 100 and we're supposed to produce 100 because it means that what you are saying means that the borrowing should be commensurate with our productivity. Issue match with productivity. Or with our, you know, our deeds, uh -huh. our works. And, well, and investment. Yes. So you borrow, you borrow 10, you invest, you invest 10. 10. You borrow 10, invest you invest 10. 10. But when you borrow 10 and you invest only 5 mm -hmm. and keep 5 in your pocket, mm -hmm. then that 5 that you are keeping in your pocket, it has not been a productive uh, uh, money. So it goes against your. Then your, yeah, your, then it reduces your the, the value, value yeah. the, the value of your money because just another simple analogy, mm -hmm. as in we borrow that money, if we still cannot produce, say two, we borrow that money and we've not produced, we've only got one of these items and we still got that money, we are all going to be going chasing this item, mm -hmm. and the person is selling this item can just put up the price. price. Because when I go, I say one thirty. This guy will come and say, "Give me one fifty, mm -hmm. and then the one that will give him one fifty. Even somebody comes, come and say, "Give me one seventy, mm -hmm. and they will sell to the one seventy. So that means that so too uh, many people were chasing fewer goods. That's it. As you However, mm -hmm. if we did that borrowing mm -hmm. and we produce three or four more of these caps, mm -hmm. maybe this time round when I go with that hundred CD, I will now be able to pick up these caps too. Okay. So then you see that it will come down to 50. Whereas before I would have had to buy it 120, I'm now buying it 50 because I have produced more than I have borrowed. Mm -hmm. And this is what Ghana as an economy should be aiming to do. So it means we have to increase our productivity yes. so that inflation is going to drop. Yes. So um, uh, in, in any case, this graph that I'm going to be showing you is a line graph. There is a color section, it's color coded red and blue. Okay. The section that is blue, that is NPP. Mm -hmm. And the section that is red is NDC. And what we've done is that we've covered the periods as in 2004 to 2018, before, and then it goes that way. Yeah, but before you carry on, viewers, um, we are not here to um, do any partisan politics. Not we are just here to you. bring you the facts, yes. as in figures, as in graphs, as in, you know, um, the, the script that is here. We want to show you the facts of the performance of the past government and the present government, yes. so that you yourself is going to make your own judgment. We are not um, into NDC or NPP or anything like that. We are just bringing you the facts, how inflation affects the yes. whole country and it affects its citizens. Yes. That's what we are doing. And inflation are the indicators of their performance. So if the inflation is high on a particular governance, then it means that that government or that party in question didn't perform well. So that is what we are trying to portray. And this is, these are facts. These are not partisan nonsense as some people get on the 
um, TV or on their set and start insulting here and there and all that. We don't do that kind of, that's you know, right. um, presentation here. Right. We bring you the facts and yes. that's it. I mean, the purpose of our uh, program is more educational uh, yeah. to make you aware uh, who is doing what, yeah. how they are performing, and then the choices will be down to you That's it. when you are going to the ballot box mm -hmm. to decide. Uh, sometimes when you see these things, it, it's actually for Ghana. Mm -hmm. It's for the betterment of Ghana. Yeah. And so if uh, it could be that maybe you are one party, if you see that, you know, the, the party that you're probably supporting is not doing a good job for the mm -hmm. nation, uh -huh. it only makes sense yeah. that you go and you support the one that you think you is think going to do right. a so good job. We're giving you the inform, if, you know, information, information yes. to make your Form own informed decision. decision. That's yeah. right. So now, so when we talk about data, mm -hmm. we look at the source of data. So this yeah. data is an IMF data a group by, by the name Statistica, mm -hmm. uh, Statistica. Yeah. And it's by uh, H. Fletcher. And this uh, uh, data was published May 2020, so it's quite recent. And so this inflation data will help you to know what who is performing well. Because what obviously we've discovered uh, on the basis of economics is that you can actually use just an inflation data mm -hmm. to see it will point so clearly performance. And as we go through the analysis, mm -hmm. you are going to see yeah. that this is a very powerful data mm -hmm. because it's, it's to do with productivity. Yeah. Because if you produce less and you print more money or borrow more money and produce less, that means you're not doing a good job. Good job. And if you borrow money and you use that money wisely to produce or invest more than you have borrowed, then that is an indication mm -hmm. that you're doing a good job. And inflation is going to arrest you for everybody to know that you're not going, doing Correct. a good job. Because if there is inflation, it, it and everybody, is, you. Is, everybody is suffering, it's going to, it's an expose, it's going to expose you, That's your right. governance, for everybody to know that That's you are right. not performing well. Good. So that's it. So um, I'm going to hold out this data. I hope that is the right. Uh, um, yes, yeah, that's it. Sure. Do you the, have to turn it right upside down? Let's see. Uh, let's, turn it, turn it if we do yeah. it that way, is that, is that uh, no, 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 no. That, uh, okay. Or maybe. No, because you see it that way. That yeah, yeah just, to turn just it one down. moment. I'm just going to see. Mm. Uh, but I'm going to put it there anyway. Anyway, it's okay. In 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 a way, this is how yeah, you I'll can put, see it. It is it is a bit difficult. But if you're reading from this side to this side, you will see it. I'll so, put it on the page. Uh -huh. So it's very clear. So if we start off with Kofor at 2004, you are going to see how obviously the data, the inflation data, starts to go up a bit, comes down. And then you see that come to about 2007, uh, there is a spike. It goes up to about 16 point something percent. Because at this stage, there is a lot of uh, expenditure gone at 50. Um, and it's not matched by productivity. So it becomes inflationary. Then as you keep going, um, uh, as, as you sort of hit 2009 into 2012, you see that is an NDC um, under John Evans Atamels where you see that the, the inflation figures starts to drop drastically. And I mean, I think John Evans Atamels has the best uh, inflation figure. He did downsize, you know, the ministerial offices to apparently save Ghana about $4 million just by doing that. But then when you carry on and you get into sort of 2012 to 2016, you now once again see John Dramatni Mahama under NDC and you see how the inflation figures skyrocket from something like maybe about uh, sort of 12, 13%. It goes up to 17.35%, which is actually the highest. And once again, when you take it from 2016, Coming down, you're going to see the new administration of Nana uh, Adodankwa under NPP. So you see the figures starts to drop again. So we are going to have a more detailed analysis um, 
and and once again this is going to be made available um, um, under the publishing uh, site of the um, of this uh, yeah I'll put it right there so if good. you want to um, copy it you can get it there good 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 mm. so I mean to you are happy for me to go through this and yeah and yeah start through. from 2004 uh -huh. when Kufo came into power Great. and then inflation started rising and dwindling a little bit plummeting yes. you know that Ghana was a little bit free and people started feeling that you know economic stimulation and everybody was happy oh Kufo but the hippic is not free lunch <laughs> when he went to declare Ghana hippic mm -hmm. you know there were terms and conditions that came with it and with the terms and conditions they will tell you that okay use the money for this they will, they will allocate some projects for you but apart from that too they will come and take something from you mm -hmm. so we shouldn't think that the hippic was just a free lunch no there's no free lunch anywhere right. they will come take your oil your bauxite your manganese your whatever Apart from giving you conditions of how to even pay back, they can take all that resources and, you know, use it as a paying back. And then the interest of it, you know, there are so many complications, you know, to this hippic before he explains. I just want to, you know, carry on with the hippic just a little bit about how it works. The, the terms and conditions are so many, the variables that you need to, to read the small prints. There are conditions that they will tell you to do projects with that money two they will come and take some of the resources from your country three they will make sure that they put a lot of interest on it so that at the end of the day even if they pick some of your resources you still have something to pay back so it means that we are always in debt we are always manipulated by these people and you understand what i'm talking about so mr charles can you go on with um kufo how kufo started right so this data um, by um, H. Uh, Fletcher uh, starts from 2004. So Kufo takes over um, from NDC under J.J. Rollins in 2000, at which time all the national coffees was cleared. There was nothing was in the nothing. purse. J.J. left out was with, with uh, nothing. There was nothing in the purse. That, these are facts. It, it, is, it is a tragedy. Partisan politics. Whereby you, you find a government that comes into power, maybe put people under firing squad for borrowing, say, 5,000 cities from, from Ghana borrowing. And then you find that at the end of their term of government, that there was nothing left in the purse. Mm -hmm. So when Kufo picked up Ghana, there was nothing. And so this is what causes him to go epic and declare the country bankrupt yeah. for that support. Yeah. And so come 2004, this is the time that he's done the first time and began to get the feel mm -hmm. of managing the country. So at, yeah. at which point, the Ghana's inflation at 2004 stood at 12.67%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, by 2005, it's gone to 15.1%. Mm -hmm. But then come something like 2006, it's come down to 11.68%. And its lowest was at 2007, when we recorded a 10.78%. Mm -hmm. uh, potentially, that means that if an item was 100 uh, uh, at the beginning of 2007, by the end of 2007, you could pick that item for maybe 110 10. Uh, pounds, uh, CDs, which was uh, sort of good. It was a good level. Once right. you sort of get to the 10% or below 10% figures, mm -hmm. that is considered uh, to, be, um, to be good. Mm -hmm. Then when it comes to sort of 2007, 2008, this is when we go, um, obviously, Ghana at 50. Mm -hmm. And also, we did the revaluation thing where now 10,000 old city is equal to one new Ghana city is equal to one dollar. Okay. So, just to give you an idea of that type of, uh, this type of pegging of currency or the exchange rate, Come say 1983, Ghana was exchanging one city to about $275. To, Ghana was exchanging 275 cities mm -hmm. to $1. Okay. 
Okay. But just to give you an idea, by 2007, obviously most of these things happened under the PNDC, uh, obviously mm. PNDC, NDC era. Yeah. But when Kufo is now come declared bankrupt and blah, 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 you tend to find that now you are changing 10,000 cities, the old city, to $1. Which was too much. So it this our city shows you the was damaging. Down. The devaluation was it's, just too much. It is so damaging. Yes. It's ridiculous. And it's, these are the pointers to notice that something ain't right. So we need to talk about inflation. Correct. Uh, they are the best indicators for performance, especially uh, for governance. Uh, and so Kufo mm. done that. That is also got. It, it's also got its own damaging implications mm -hmm. which we are once again going to learn as we go along so at this point uh, 10,000 old Ghana city one city equal to one dollar um, and then you get the um, Ghana at 50 where expenditure went wild under Kufo's administration and you can see that a lot of money was being spent mm -hmm. but it was not much with productivity. productivity so you tend to see that it becomes very clear that come 2008 uh, the e inflation rate it's at its highest at 16.51 percent under Kufu. before you carry on can i try another um question and answer sure um am i right when i say productivity is the output per man hour Output per man, man hour productivity. Yes, you could say that. So I'm right, right? Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you, you could definitely say okay, that, yes. So, you, you carry uh -huh. so your productivity, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, it could be a service. Mm -hmm. It could be you're working on a farm. It could yeah. be your so building output something. Output per man hour. Uh -huh. so it could be your mm -hmm. uh, uh, sort of drilling or ex yeah. exploring gold mm -hmm. or whatever it is that you're doing it is the total and remembering my economics uh, so the, the, these things obviously we've done it in the school mm -hmm. but we need to apply it and we need to also understand yeah. when the government is saying something and we need to use that to make that decision mm -hmm. do we want to support this party mm -hmm. is this party doing a good job you know just don't follow a party blindly and make a lot of noise when even when they are doing the wrong things and you're saying great great yeah. great when you do that you're not doing anything good for your nation yeah so if you have the information you can decide on whether they are doing the right thing or they are doing the wrong thing so that you can have your own um information and That's then right. you decide as to where you want to be cool. if the party a or party b correct so when you come to 2009 as uh, John Evans Atamels, his ex, 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 ex excellency. Yeah, he takes over. Emeritus. Um, he 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 was the man who done it by the book, mm -hmm. and he done it very well. So when he picks it up, you see that the inflation starts to come down uh, at thirteen point four percent. Okay. Then by say two thousand and ten, it has dropped to its lowest lowest uh, john evans atamels had the lowest inflation rate in modern times 6.7 percent 2011 7 oh sorry yeah 6.7 percent 2011 7.68 to even 2012 yeah 7.07 percent mm -hmm. so what does that mean it means that when uh atamels came to power what he did is that he downsized the the ministries. He pruned it. Ah, you know. You know. That's right. He pruned and it. He saved he Ghana. Made sure that the figures or the numbers right. were down. Uh -huh. he, so saved, he, he saved. He saved Ghana money. four million dollars just by doing that. Mm -hmm. So in effect, what 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 we are trying to say is that you have ministries. You know, government comes to power creating so many ministries. You see, when you create ministries, you are creating cost. Yeah. Cost. So you got cost, yeah. uh, so you got maybe ten people doing one person's job or five people doing one person's job. Mm -hmm. So Atamels came and said, "Why are you doing it like that? One person. This is as you said, mm -hmm. productivity per man hours. Yeah, output, per output, man output, hour. output per man hours. Mm -hmm. So so you see that he cut value for money. Value so for money. If this thing is going to be handled by one man, 
he's not going to pick four people around the them. same task and be he's them. going to pick just one person who is competent enough to do it to execute that task that that's is what he did so he was right. able to lower the, the budget and the cost ah, so that right. there was more money in the cafes so that even that excess can be used for other projects that's like right. roads and community building yes. in terms of hospitals and all that correct and you don't have that excess yeah. money where you are paying for people to do one thing yeah. and then creating that excess money yeah. which then becomes inflationary mm -hmm. so this is how an inflation you can just use inflation figures mm -hmm. to get a real analysis mm -hmm of where a government is going, going right there are obviously other important indicators we, when we, we, the analysis is going to get deeper but just on the face value to make it very clear to people you're going to see what evans atamels did yeah. and so far he's ndc i think he had the best performance the best you know, performance you know, so far people are going to yeah. say oh ghana was getting a bit tough but yes sometimes you got to hold that currency you got to make because you're competing with the outside world yeah so you got to create value mm -hmm. within yourself because otherwise those trading outside internationally you have to have more city for a dollar that's so it means it. that you are losing out that's right. what profit can you make if you are taking a whole lot of cities to get one dollar that's right so it means it means that people are running at a loss so whereby the inflation is high and exchange rate is at its baddest it means that you are taking more cities for just a dollar or a pound and, and, and people were losing out and you, you're messing up your economy. yeah so because now you know it's a global village everything is very small so if yeah. you and especially as the Ghana, world is, at, uh, is, is, is on the palm of mm -hmm. each everybody you yes. have it's, it's on the palm everybody has yes. the world yes. on their shoulders like that it's, it's yes. on your palm uh -huh. So and, and obviously, as we all know, Ghana is a very open economy. It's exposed to all sorts of things, mm -hmm. and therefore, you need very good economic management yeah. to keep everything in control. So then, from 2012, we have John Dramani Mahama also come under NDC, but that is when you start to see that everything starts to go. That is the worst uh, um, inflation ever. Yeah. You can see it is very clear. So, so this is kind of our partisan. This so is it's the same. Script. It's the same party. So you got it's F and NDC both in red. So you see NDC and the Tamils where mm -hmm. the inflation rate is very very low. Then you got the highest under um, under Dramani Mahama. Then that we are also going to explain why those things happen. But for some reason he had the highest inflation, which means it indicates that. His performance wasn't as good but he executed more projects which means that there was something not right something in is all right. the projects that not right. as you were saying that you know over estimation and all that yes because that. because what then happens is that so uh, uh john dramani mahama and uh, ndc mm -hmm. comes in with so many projects you know road flyovers mm -hmm. uh hospitals here building markets in kumasi doing quite a lot of things and i i think it's kind of sometimes in as much as we want to develop let's come back to um john dramani mahama and then we we, we continue from there